Let's bring the students from all around the country, all around the UK, down to London, to the globe, for a weekend and get them to workshop together, to do voice class, text class, jig, eat, drink and, you know, make friends with fellow members of the profession. It gives them an opportunity to taste what I think is the most important theatre in the world, I would say that, wouldn't I? But to really give them an opportunity to taste Shakespeare in the very theatre for which the plays were written. When we walked out through those double doors and it was just bang, it goes so high and it goes back and you just, it's just electric. I felt like a supercharge of energy like as soon as I stood out on the stage and you look above you and it's like it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's incredible. It's so big. It's so big. It's a really nice chance to meet people who are in the same position as you but in different schools up and down the country. It's a chance for them to share their understanding of Restoration Shakespearean and Jacobean Theatre, a chance for them to get on the globe stage, which is just phenomenal. There is no stage like it. It puts into place everything that you've learned to drama school in a way I think other theatres don't. And to meet all the other students and who are sort of going through the same thing as you is incredible and valuable. I think this experience is, is hugely important to these students. These, I mean, this is far and away the most exciting and inspiring theatre that I've ever been lucky enough to work on. Singing in the Globe is, is just a uniquely pleasurable thing. It's, its acoustics lend itself so beautifully to company singing. To experience that kind of wonderful adrenaline rush you get from, from company music making. It's a real company feel and I want them to have a real joy at the end of the performance, a celebration of the globe space and of the profession that they're going into. And hopefully some of them may come back to perform here in the future, as has happened in the past. It was what gave me my break. Um, I was obviously still at drama school, I didn't have an agent or anything. A week later I was auditioning and I got my agent off the back of that and the rest is history. It was really what made my career. I think the Wanamaker Festival is like nothing else, really, because it gives such a talented group of people the chance to perform on Shakespeare's stage. And it's not unusual that people are seen at the Wanamaker Festival and then get opportunities straight off the back of that. When I did it um, all those years ago now, like, um, I think as well you had people coming that wanted to see who were the next wave of actors. I got to work with all these fantastic people. It's brilliant, it's like having a kick around with Ronaldo or something, you know, it's an absolutely fantastic experience. It's one that needs to continue. And to have the opportunity at this point in our career is vital. Literally, you just feel the text just completely lift off the page. And then you walk out on that stage and you just say, well, this could be us. Uh, I think it's important to keep the traditions that are upheld in this mm. theatre alive. And it's sort of a very different way of working. Well, I think that there's no other experience like it. This is a unique experience. The perfect birth into the industry that I want to work in. It's scary though, when they open like that. All those faces just down up here. Oh my god, it's really overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> the closest an actor will ever get to be a rock star. So this is one of the best experiences in my life. Electric. It's kind of like the thing dreams are made of, really. If you can do that, then hey. You can do anything, really. Yeah.